This guide is built on Google Chrome because many other browsers are built on the same engine, but it applies to every other browser as well, so no worries there. All right, let's begin, but firstly, short tip, you can find a list of our top security app recommendations in the description box down below this video. So definitely check that out if you want more information and you can help support our channel, which we really appreciate. Setting your default browser. First things first, when you open a link, which web browser opens by default? If you're not familiar with the inner workings of your computer, you may not even know that you probably have more than one web browser installed on your computer. If you're on Windows and use Chrome, you also have at least one more called Microsoft Edge in most cases. If you're on Mac, however, you have Safari and you might have a Chrome browser as well. But thankfully, setting your default browser is really easy and also pretty important. Which one you choose will mostly depend on your personal preferences as the settings themselves are the important bit. And don't worry, we'll get to that later. But in our example, we're gonna set Chrome as our default web browser on Windows. But again, this applies whatever browser or software you were using. All right, so open your device settings using the start menu and in settings, locate and select the apps option. Scroll to or click on default apps. Look for the web browser category currently showing your default browser. Now click on the current browser to reveal other options and click on set default. If you wanna set another browser as your default, you need to find that browser on the list and follow the same steps. And that's it, you've now changed your default browser and more importantly, you know which one it actually is. And this will become super important, privacy and security settings. After setting Google Chrome as your default browser, there are quite a few settings to adjust so that your data is safe. This could take a few minutes to do, so this step is mostly an overview and we'll delve into each of them more thoroughly later in the video. Quick note, I'm not going over any specific extensions in this video because that's an entirely different topic. However, as a general rule of thumb, you definitely wanna install as few extensions as you can get away with, ideally none at all. Mainly because these are memory eaters and some of them are serious security risks. All right, let's continue. Open Chrome and click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner to access settings. Within the privacy and security section, among the first things you'll encounter is the safety check feature. Running a safety check gives your browser a quick health assessment and ensures the basics are in good shape. Moving on, the privacy guide is a walkthrough for customizing your privacy settings. It introduces you to choices such as enhanced protection under safe browsing. And I would suggest that you enable that as it offers a proactive defense against dangerous sites and also alerts you about compromised passwords. Chrome gives you the option to block third-party cookies, especially useful in incognito mode, so make sure that that setting is enabled as well. While Privacy Guide provides a user-friendly solution to truly enhance your browser security, some options still need to be enabled manually. One of these is ensuring your browser always uses secure connections. By setting safe browsing to enhanced protection and activating always use secure connections, this will make browsing safer by only using the encrypted version of the website that you visit. Also check the site settings of your most used websites. You'll notice a lot of different settings that heavily impact how much of the information you share and make informed decisions on what permissions websites have from accessing your location to using your camera and microphone. Disabling unnecessary permissions, managing how sites notify you, and limiting JavaScript and third-party cookie usage are all measures to regain control of your online privacy. Lastly, keep your browser fully up to date. With every update, the makers of your browser enhance its security, ensuring that you're protected against the latest threats. And as a side note, follow this criteria for all of your software, not just your web browser, as fixes will always be beneficial. If you wanna enhance your security even further, consider that your browsers are often connected to your email accounts. We've created a video highlighting the most crucial Gmail security settings as well. This includes implementing two-factor authentication and other important tips, so feel free to check that out here. Regularly revisit your Chrome settings to stay ahead of evolving threats and explore additional privacy enhancing tools to further secure your digital life. Keep exploring, stay secure, and enjoy the vast dynamic world of the internet on your terms. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe and like this video to stay up to date on future postings. And let us know down in the comment section what your top browser security tip currently is. Thanks so much, we'll see you in the next video.